Oh Joy. A uh, new tool has arrived from China. It's a very specialist tool. It's one I've seen in the videos where you see the factory workers making lamps. And at one point, they take one of the lamp caps, attach to whatever it is, they drop it into here, and then they just pull the lever, and it crimps the lamp cap onto your light. So I thought, well, you know what, let's celebrate. Here is a suitable lamp cap that I've just 3D printed, and I'm going to put a neon into it. Now, the construction of this is quite interesting. I have to say, I'll just move this out of the way. It is designed to be bolted down. And the operation is simple in the sense that it's got these little indents around the outside and there's ball bearings riding in that with springs. And as you turn it round, these little spikes all around for each indent literally just go in and then pop back out again. And it doesn't matter what direction you turn it or how many notches you turn it, each one each one of those notches is a crimping action. I'm not sure how this is going to go with me trying to hold this while crimping it, because I think it's going to take a bit of force, but I shall do my best. So I got 50 of these. I mean, it seemed logical. To, it's one of these things that if I bought less, it was going to be just as expensive. So I bought 50 of the caps, and they came with the little uh, studs that go in the back. You basically poke a wire through the back, uh, put one of these studs in, and it catches the wire. And then for the actual lamp itself, you fold the wire up the side when you put it in. Uh, and then you jam the lamp cap into it before crimping. It presses the wire against the side. This makes me wonder what happens if the spike goes through that. Does it crop the wire? Not sure. The other caps I got, and I didn't know if they'd fit, are bayonet cap. And they come with their own tiny little rivets, two rivets per cap. And that's the one I'm going to be experimentally making. But... Uh, I've not tried one of these. I have tried a cap. Uh, I completely ruined a kit. Oh, hold on. Let me just get it. One moment, please. Same seller. They seem to specialise in lamps. So you get this as a kit with the LED circuit board. It's actually probably more expensive just buying the lamp. But you know, it's a kit, so it's fun. It comes a little screw-on ring for that cover. Uh, you put the circuit board on, you get the little module. And the module goes into this plastic cup. Uh, with the connections going down into the base, which came separately, I crimped it on without really thinking it through too much because I didn't actually make a connection onto the side first. So I'm going to have to cut that off. But thanks to the power of my magic Chinese till, I can. Right, OK, that's for another video. So I've got my little neon light here and I'm going to try this. And this is where I've made this up from a neon indicator lamp with two 100k resistors in series. That's just for the UK supply voltage. Let's zoom down this so you can watch me screw it up big time. I'm going to pop this into this uh, bayonet cap holder just because it was going to be a nice, sensible, simple way of doing things. I say that I can screw this up big time and probably will. As soon as the camera goes on, everything goes wrong. Everything's been going fine up to now. Uh, so that here's a look. I've popped the wires through here. You can see the wires. And I've got a little rivet here. Let's uh, try and get that rivet in without pushing the wire out. That could be the tricky bit. Or impaling myself on the wire. So let's push that in. That that looked promising. That looked promising. What about the other one? And I'll push them in properly afterwards once I've got the other one on. So there's the other wire there. There's the little stud. Uh, press it in. And then I shall just press against the front of my bench. Or oh, that'll do, actually. No, that's all right. I shall just actually maybe press down like that. They appear to be locked quite tightly. This is where I damage the cap or, or stab myself. Both things perfectly viable. And I shall get that roughly in the middle. And then I shall slip on this uh, cap. It's not going to be a super. It's going to be a bit wobbly in there. But you know what? This is a prototype. And I shall put this cover over. Freshly printed. Look how snug that was. Did you feel it's probably going to pop? It made a slight pop when I took it off. And I'm going to put it in here. And it's notable there's a couple of little indents at the side just for bayonet caps. They, they do seem to go in with a bit of wiggling, but if you line them up with that, it drops in. But I'm not sure if this is the correct thing for it. But anyway, let's try crimping it and see what happens. Oh, this is tight. I might have to take this off camera to do this because that is quite tight. Uh, just give us a second. I'm going to put it on the edge of the bench. Uh, this is where I destroy the bench. So let me just uh, get this lined up and see if I burst the cap in the process. Oh, right, that's it. It, it went round. Oh, and look, there's a the little indents. There's a the little indents. 
Uh, is that on tightly? Oh, that is on very tightly. That's not coming off. That's a cut off job now. Right. Okay. Let's bring up a lamp holder so I can try my new lamp. This is where it just explodes. I say this, nothing ever really explodes. I mean, that ionizer exploded. Yeah, that one there. Yeah, very exciting. Yes, I was shaking. Yes, it was very exciting. Super adrenaline. And I plug this in. Oh, and there's my little orangey glow. Let me just take the exposure off so you can see the orangey glow of my little neon lamp. Expo okay, let's try that again and press the right button and not the wrong button. So exposure is off. Uh, that jump cut. I want to. I want to say that's not because it didn't work. It's not like one of the, those videos where they jump cut when their project doesn't work and then it's like, oh, it's working now. Mine's been working all along. Oh, that's quite sweet. You can see slight shimmer because it is neon. That's quite nice, actually. It's not mega bright. The camera is doing it justice. But uh, as a wee nightlight, that would be quite cute. OK, watch your eyes. The light is coming back and I'll probably even press the right button this time. The light is back. I did press the right button this time. Foolish of me. You guys won't believe me. He jumped cut because he fucked up. That's what you'll be seeing. I kind of want to take this apart, but it's, I know it's full of springs. It is full of springs, isn't it? Uh, but, you know, that's what happens in this channel. It's got to come apart. One moment, please. You're going to break your new toy, Big Clive. Yes, I am going to break my new toy. Stand by for springs asunder. So this thing, it wasn't cheap by... The sort of stand you expect. Oh, that is, I think that's actually fixed in with stuff. This is not coming out easily. Maybe it's to stop people doing this. Watch me dust my knuckles. Oh, jeez. Maybe they actually don't want me to take it to bits. Maybe they're trying to protect me from myself. Oh, that is tight. That is actually... They've put that in with Threadlock, haven't they? Or Herculean Force. Uh, it doesn't ma doesn't help the fact that this rotates here. This is not good. I think I may just have to say that, you know, if this doesn't come off... Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Uh, it is just Herculean Force. My apologies if that made a really loud noise. I've still not got it off yet. Hold on. I shall brace myself. No, that's not helping. It just keeps rotating. The whole thing rotates. Just give me a second. Ah, that's, it's off. Radio. I'll just pretend I'm Eve for a while. Board of Lame 2 reviews. How about weird 2 reviews? I'm going to have to mount this somewhere. Maybe I'll just mount it to a wall and have it as a permanent door frame attachment in the house. Oh, 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 this isn't good. This isn't good. Up. How long before our spring goes gadoing? Well, they're held in by grease. Lots of grease. Grease, if you want. Oh, there, there's one's volant. Oh, no, another one's dropped out. Uh, here's the pins. They're quite short. Then again, it's got the uh, the ball bearing behind it. So that uh, ball bearing goes in there. Held in by stickiness. Well, at least they're not super springy. Famous last words. Is this going to go back together? It's going to go back together. Yeah, yeah that's uh, something to be done uh, after then because uh, it's making a huge mess. Uh, one moment, please. Yeah, that's definitely a sort of like place all the balls in and then slip this over the top type of thing. Then I just put this back on and theoretically that's it all put back together. Did I put that in the right way? It doesn't really matter which way. Apart from the spikes, yeah. The spikes up the other end. I've done it right. If I get it wrong, I'll fix it. Uh, and that is very interesting. I think this handle can go up either way. I don't think it really matters. I'll find out in due course when it fails to crimp things. But this has opened up a whole world of uh, opportunity for reusing lamp caps like this, just popping them onto one of these covers like that and crimp them on again but with my own filling and what about this one this one would be a nice snug fit and now instead of having to glue it on or try and wedge it into the one that's already pre-punched salvage from another holder I can just uh, give it its own holder uh, excellent yes 
interesting toy. So yes, you can you can look forward to random lamps being made in the near future with uh, this marvellous crimp tool. And I think I actually will get some short uh, um, coach screws and uh, stick it onto a door frame somewhere in the house just so I just can go go, 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 go through and just basically crimp up a lamp when I need to. Interesting gadget. Lots of fun.